give you guys a walk around of this 2004 Parker boat. It's a 2004 Parker. Got the Daffo anchor on it. Windless. Boatmaster trailer. One of the best trailers you can get for a boat. Aluminum. Lightweight. 2004 Parker. Give y'all a quick overhaul of how we do it when we fishing. This is what we use to go out there and catch them killers, them whales. Got a 2004 Suzuki four stroke, 250. Sea deck, have the big wide platforms, trim tabs. Most people got the 10 inch, we got 12 inch trim tabs. Over here we got the uh live scope transducer this is a live scope transducer and this is my uh 3d scan transducer this is how we monitor fish live scope when you see them on the screen live give y'all a quick swim platform ladder like i gotta say it's a nice boat over here we got the uh Spot lock. I know you guys seen that spot lock work in action. That's the spot lock. We have a radar system up top. Made our way up to the deck. Got the bolster pads. Got that seat deck. You know what that seat deck keep your feet nice and soft. Got the speakers. We got the courtesy lights. They change colors. You can change them whatever color you want. We got the big cutting cutting board. Cutting board is big. Get one of them big fish. Need a big cutting board. The lockers. You can put fish in there. Go all the way down that side to the fish. Got this side over here for your little storage stuff. Parker boats don't come with the seat. This is an option for you. Get an option. Comfortable seat for your, for your peoples. Uh, here's the capacity sticker. That's your capacity sticker, what you can carry, who you can carry. Outside, outside helm station, Morse code controllers. This is your throttle. This is your reverse and forward. This is your throttle. This is your gas, reverse and forward. Steering from the back. Got the rocket launchers. Hold your rods. I got my deck lights for at night. Got our deck lights. Let's walk around to the front before we get in. Up here we have a life raft. You never know what happened to you out there in the ocean, so we got a life raft. Six man life raft. We got our radar system. We got the radar. Truck horns, you know you gotta have the truck horns. Up here on the deck, we have the spot lock anchor system. Not the spot lock, this is the um, free fall. Free fall, my bad, free fall. The anchor system free fall, windless, they call it the windless. Up here is where you got that, that uh, trolling motor. It's that trolling motor. Some rod holders up top, in case you up here on the deck fishing. This is all was custom made. This all was custom made for the boat. You see that aluminum plate? This is a custom made bracket for this spot lock. And over here, uh, where is it? I can't even find it myself, it was so good. Okay, over here we cut a bar out. We took one of the bars out so we can be able to get in. Most people mount theirs off the side. I didn't want it off the side, I wanted it on the boat. There's a view from the, to the cockpit from the front of the boat. That's the cockpit. Night light. Over here is where you see the air condition for your heat and exhaust for your air conditioning system. That's where the air conditioning system comes out. We'll show you that inside. Over here you got your shore power. All of this is custom. This is custom work. Let's go inside the cabin, see what's going on in the cabin. You got your pilot house. 
Lock your door up so your door don't be swinging on you. Come inside, you got nice captain station. You got four chairs. Passenger can sit here, passenger there. Captain's helm, another passenger. You got your controllers. Same thing as outside. This is your forward, reverse. This is your throttle. You have the two-way radio. We keep that on channel 16 to monitor the Coast Guard. We always monitor the Coast Guard. We have our radio system, Bluetooth radio system. That's what we're using on the radio. We have the Garmin's GPS. I'll show you those. Those are inside. Those are the Garmin's. We also have, this is for the radar. This is our radar system. This is uh, Furuno. This is the work our trim tabs. We work our trim tabs with this. Up and down, you know, when the boat is like, if you got passengers on a boat and people are moving around, you don't want to tell them, move to this side, move to that side. You just control everything on your own. They don't even know what's going on. This controls my uh, spotlight, my spotlight outside. You know, when it's outside nighttime, I want to turn my light and light on. This is my compass. Over here, I, I mount my phone. So I got my phone nicely mounted where I ain't got to have it in my hand. My phone is also linked to my, my Garmin units. My switch panel for all of my bilge pump, live well, so forth and on. I got another two-way radio up here. I keep this on channel 68. This is where all the, the fishermen, we monitor, we monitor our stations on 68 so we get a fish report all the time. But as Coast Guard regulations, I got to keep one on 16. Let's go into the cabin. So like I say, this is a 24-foot Parker, 24-foot Parker, 25-foot 20, Parker, uh, 2004, my bad. Over here, let me forget, got to tell you over here is where we keep our, our tackle. So I keep my tackle here, certain tackle we use. If I have to set up a rig real quick, somebody broke or whatever, if we change up and we want to fluke and we start fluking, I use these. When we on the bottom fishing and we black fishing or we, we fishing with a jig, I use these jigs. And over here, I keep a little bit of various weights that we use. And when we get in rough waters, I keep, I keep uh, some heavier weights in here. Also, on this side, I keep the life jackets. I use the Coast Guard regulated life jackets. I don't use them cheap life jackets like everybody else uses. I use Coast Guard regula regulated. Over here is, is my battery system. I don't know if you can see it, but I'll take it out for you. Take it out for you. This is the battery system for the spot lock. You know, everybody asks about the spot lock, how that spot lock works. So let me show you how that spot lock works. So these are my these are my battery system for my spot lock. I got three of them. I use those lithium batteries. You know what those cost? I don't even gotta tell you. And over here, it's when I hit that breaker and I turn the spot lock on, and maybe the spot lock becomes in act, becomes in motion. I know y'all don't want to wait for me to put these life jackets back, so I'm gonna leave the life jackets out for right now. Moving to the side. So like I say, we do fish in the wintertime. And in the wintertime, you know, in the pilot house, it keeps you warm. You're warm in the pilot house, but also over here is where I have a built-in heater system. This is a heater system I installed on my own. This heater system which keeps the boat nice and warm and toasty when we fishing for those blackfish keeps it warm in here and that was all custom made into the boat so we go into the cuddy so when we first come in the cuddy and mind you now i'm the only one that really comes in the cuddy not too many people come in the cuddy but i have my my uh, my line vultures panel so that's my main line that's my trolling motor that's my inverter and that's my cooling stuff like that over here, I plug in my phones. My phone, if somebody got another phone, USB, they can plug theirs in there. And over here, it's that air condition I was telling you about, it's portable. So this is a portable battery system on it. Let's see if it's charged up. So it is charged up, because I had it on, and I come over here, and as you can see, the, the air condition started coming on. 
That air condition keeps all of this cool. When I got that door closed, it'll keep everything in here nice and cool. You know what I mean? And this is that duct system I was showing you on the outside that keeps the uh, let out, it takes in fresh air and let out the hot air. And you know, a lot of times you be on the water and you, 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 you know, you're fishing. Let me turn this fan off in your, in your face. A lot of times we be on the water and we be fishing and everything and we got bait and we don't, we don't never waste bait. So in here we have our freezer system. So this is a freezer that we keep our bait in or keep fishing or anything like that. Soda, we just keep it in here just in case, you know, we don't waste bait. So we just got a freezer in the boat to keep bait. That's what it is. That's a freezer. That's a deep freezer. And that thing, I mean, when I say deep freezer, it freeze. So I got my little blanket, whatever, you know. So this, this comes out. But sometimes I got to stay overnight. I lay this out. And then I just lay down in this little corner right here. It used to be a bigger corner, but when I got all the amenities, you don't get that space anymore. But this is where I, I, I usually lay down. By regulations, every charter boat supposed to have a, a toilet. So we don't have a toilet, but we have a little porty potty that we keep here for people that got to use the bathroom in an emergency. So we got a little porty potty. Yeah, this boat is nice, man. This boat is decked out. I keep my little binoculars. If I'm out on the water and I'm looking for fish, I put these on and I spot for birds in the water or breaking in the water. And then I know where I can go towards the water to, to look for some bait, look for some bait or some fish, some fish action. Over here, I got my umbrella rigs when we do our trolling. So when we do trolling, you know, I put these out with two rods out in the back and then two on the side and we do trolling. Like I say, when we want to, um, when I want to do some switching up after we get our limit or whatever we fishing for and then still time we switch up. I have my little fluke rigs and stuff like that I keep over here. So if they want to go fluking, I, I keep a variety of everything on the boat so we can do everything at any given time. Over here is where I keep my mojos. I know you know about the mojos. When we out there trolling, we put one of these mojos out on the back and lay that thing back there. Boy, you better hold on. You know, sometimes we want to do some, some top water fishing. You know, I got me some plugs and some some poppers and everything. We doing some top water fishing. I keep my knives and stuff like that and diamond jigs, knife sharpener, things like that. I keep, you know, on the boat. And, uh, you know, like I say, I take the GPS's down here, them garments, them garments I keep up there, you know, I keep them garments up there with that live scope. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, that's where the trolling motor power comes in at. And the control, my trolling motor, it's all remote control. That's how I control the radon spot lock, remote control, remote control. And this is the remote control for my heater when I want to turn the heater on. So when I'm when I'm out fishing, I take this, I put this around my neck like that. I put that and wear that around my neck. That's what I wear around my neck. So it's always with me. You know? Sometimes we get out on the water. I like to I like to surprise people when we on the water too. I like to get them a surprise. So sometimes when we on the water and it's like somebody's first trip, I always like to get them a, a nice experience on the boat. So I, I do something special for them. And that's only for the person that comes for their first time and never been fishing. I get them that experience. So the first fish they ever catch while they on the boat, I pull this out like this. I pull this out and it got all my cooking utensils in it. Grease, oil, flour, everything. I keep that. And I got my aluminum for you there. Then I take this right here and I pull my grill out. I pull the grill out for them. Then I go over here, go over here and lift this up. And I pull that frying pan out there, that frying pan, and that, 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 that propane, and I get busy. I get busy. I, 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 watch the, I let them watch me clean their fish, fillet if they want it filleted, I fillet it. And they watch me do it all on that cutting board in the back. And when I, when I cook them their first piece of, I mean, you can't get no fresher than that. When you catch a fish out the, catch a fish out the ocean, clean them, 
and cook them right then and there where he ain't been five seconds dead, man, that's some good eating. Over here, I keep extra rigs also, you know, fishing addicts. You know, we make our own rigs. I make my own rigs. You guys want to buy some, you know, you let me know. I got blackfish rigs. I got striped bass rigs. I got striped bass. And I got a high-low rig for porgies or any, any bottom fishing, high-low rig. I got those also. So, you know, that's what, that's what I do. This is what I do. You know, I'm not gonna clean everything up back now because I like to get all my stuff back neat the way I had it. But showing you guys, I had to, I, another thing, you always gotta keep maps. You know, when, you know, you can't rely, you can't always rely on your GPS Garmin units or your, your electronics. Cause sometimes your battery can go dead or whatever, you may lose electronics. So a good captain always keep a map. A good captain always keep maps of the area he fish. He always keep his map. So that way you still can get back home and, and your crew can have a safe trip. And along with the maps, uh, where is it? It's about regulations that you keep certain certain things with you. So along with my map, I keep a calculator. So if I got to calculate my hours, my drift, you know, I keep all my compass tools that I need in case something go down where I have to rely on chart and I have to rely on my skills. Now I can't depend on the, the GPS. I have to rely on my skills. So I keep all of that stuff in here. Like I say, I keep all maps of every area I go to. I keep maps. I always keep a Coast Guard regulation book in my in my in the thing because when the Coast Guard pull up on you and your charter, sometimes they ask you for that, so you want to keep that. So I'm always keeping that. Like I say, maps. I always keep a a, a, a detail of what where I've been on my charts and my spots and everything in case my electronics go bad. I still got my spots locked in on a, on a piece of paper, and you know, just more maps. You know, everything you need. To get yourself back home safe. When your electronics fail, when your electronics fail, you need a way to get back home. So I'm gonna give you another overview. Excuse the mess, cause I, I took it out to show you. Those are some of my licenses. You know, my charter licenses, different states and all that. But just give you an overview. You know. So just picture yourself one day coming out with me on a boat and you sitting there and you watching me and you watching where we going and you watching the back and when it's cold you can sit right here and look out the window and watch when the fish hit your rod and go out there and get busy you know and that's what it's all about being safe having fun and enjoying it and you got to remember it's not just a sport it's a lifestyle for me it's a lifestyle for me. Oh, I forgot to show you something also. You know, I, some of the people probably write in the comments. They probably write in the comments, well, where are your flares? You didn't show your flares. You didn't show your markers and this and that. Your distress signals. Well, now, regulations, you don't have to require to have flares every year because them flares cost you money. When you buy flares, they cost you money every year when they expire. So now you just get a light. They sell these now. They're about $70, $80. And when you turn them, and I can't do it with two hands, but when you turn them, this be your beacon light. This will start being your beacon light. And that's like a flare. And then when you have your distress signals, I think I got them down here. You know, I still keep, I still keep, like I say, like I say, technology has improved and it's getting better, but you still got to keep a way of manually being safe on the water. Because if you depend on all your electronics and things like that, and when your electronics fail, you, you SOL. So I do keep manual stuff on the boat. You know, my flares, flare gun, distress signal, you know. So I do keep that stuff on the boat also. So don't think I'm just out here with a bunch of electronics and don't know what I'm doing. I got electronics. I know how to use them. And I know what I'm doing when I got you on this water. Ugh. What else we got over here? Like I say, I got a, I got a six pack Coast Guard license, and what that says is I'm required, I'm, I'm able to carry six passengers, a mate, and myself comfortable with the license that I carry. 
So that means I can carry eight people with the license. So with eight people, that means I need eight life jackets at all times. So like I was saying, I was showing a life jacket and I always put my life jacket on. I, I use an inflatable. I use an inflatable and my mate uses an inflatable. Me and my mate, we both use automatic inflatables because those are a little bulky. You don't have to wear them when you're on a boat, but those are a little bulky, but I like to keep one on at all times because I never know what could happen. And by me keeping it on, it counts as a life jacket. If I didn't have it on and it was laying over the chair like it's laying on the chair and the Coast Guard came up to me and said, show me eight life jackets and I, and I start counting those and try to count this one, this does not count unless it's on your back. In order for this to count, you have to have it on. That's the only way it counts. And I got my cameras, you know, I got my underwater cameras in case I want to do some videoing. Underwater cameras, you know. I got my GoPro mounts up there, you know, when we, when we, when we out there. There's another look at that spot locked from the side, you know. And for the heater, the heater system, there's a vent right here. That's the vent for my heater. When the heat is on, that hot air goes out. Everything is custom made on this boat. This is a custom made boat by Fishing Addicts. I hope you guys like this video. I'm gonna try to get you more videos. I'm gonna try to get you guys more videos in the future. You know, it, it's hard for me to make videos and do everything at the same time. You know, I'm manning the boat. I'm prepping the boat. I'm cutting up the bait. I'm doing everything and sometimes it's just hard for me to get to the camera and do the camera. So that's why you don't see me on cameras a lot. But I want to thank my man, Catfish Camilles, for letting me know I got to get busy in the things I do because people want to know. And if you got something that you want me to show you guys or you want to learn about fishing on the ocean or about getting your captain's license, leave me a comment and I'll get back to you. I always get back to my comments. And like I say, this is fishing addicts. It ain't just a lifestyle. It ain't just a sport, it's a lifestyle. Fishing addicts. Oh, I forgot to tell you, when I'm out here driving, and doing what I do, I don't want to be looking in there and trying to look at the GPS. I put one up here too. Got a lot of electronics.